I'm Dr. M. S. Kamar, Senior Consultant and Advisor in the Department of Pulmonary Critical Care and Sleep Medicine. I'm also lead in lung transplant and also I'm a senior member of the COVID team at Indra Prastha Polo Hospital in New Delhi. COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now basically in COPD there is a narrowing of the airways and there is thickening of the muscle uh, tissue that encircles the bronchial tubes through which we breathe. There is inner lining uh, of the tubes which becomes thick and there is increased production of mucus which blocks the airways. Since COPD involves narrowing of the airways, primarily you will expect patient to have difficulty in breathing. There is inflammation, so there is increased production of sputum, so you will expect patient to be having coughing. So cough and wheeze and difficulty in walking and breathlessness on walking is the main symptom of these uh, patients of COPD. The risks of COPD, number one, smoking. Those people who have been smoker for more than 10, 20 or 30 years, they have a very high risk of having airway narrowing uh, as a result of COPD. But then we have also seen a lot of ladies particularly who were exposed to chula smoking, uh, wood uh, burning and chula smoking in their earlier days, they later on developed typical features of COPD and uh, uh, we of course do certain tests in which we can um, find out how much is the damage, how much is the reversible airway obstruction and how much we can help these patients. The first thing when we suspect a case of uh, COPD is the history. Most important is the history and once we suspect that patient may be having a, an obstructive airways disease then we do certain tests like a simple thing a lung function test, PFT, pulmonary function test, and we also do a bronchodilator study in which we give a bronchodilator nebulizer to the patient after doing the test and after waiting for 10-15 minutes we repeat the test to see if there is any reversibility or immediate reversibility of the air tubes uh, which are narrowed. So that helps us know how much is going to be the response to therapy. How can you prevent the uh, development of COPD? First of all, you should not be a smoker. Number two, if you're having repeated infections in the chest, you should treat them uh, quickly enough because repeated infections in the chest can lead to uh, damages, particularly in the, the younger age group. And some children uh, at very early age develop repeated infections and subsequently they have a hard tendency to develop uh, airway changes and some of them can develop asthma-like picture some of them, due to repeated infections, can develop COPD-like picture. So people who are exposed to very heavy pollution, construction work site, uh, where there is a lot of dust, um, uh, uh, you know, blowing up there, uh, those uh, people should also be uh, asked to abstain from that area or that profession or you know, go into more closed environment. Some uh, individuals who are exposed to smoke or chemical um, uh, vapors in their industry, in their environment, wherever they're working, they can have uh, a, an increased tendency to develop COPD as well as asthma. So these people, again, should be asked to uh, change the, the work environment and go, in, go into that area where the exposure is very little. We treat COPD in many ways. Uh, one of them, of course, is giving them bronchodilators. Bronchodilators, it means opening up the uh, up of the airways as much as we can. You know, the muscle becomes hypertrophied. It, it won't change overnight. But if you prevent the, the uh, exposure to noxious stimuli, if you prevent the inflammation inside the air tubes, then over time, over weeks and months, you probably are allowing that area to become less inflammatory and the, you may be able to reduce the thickening of the inner wall. And if that is possible and you are able to reduce the goblet cell uh, mucus production, you can actually uh, not only improve the uh, condition of the patient, you can also prevent to 
to, to a large extent the gradual worsening of these patients because it becomes at one stage it becomes a progressive disease so we give them inhalers inhalers are beta agonist inhalers then we call them uh, in com give them in combination with the ICS so we call it long acting beta agonist LABA plus uh, inhaled corticosteroid we call them ICS so it is LABA plus ICS combination we give them in inhalation form then we also give them um, anti-muscarinic agents again in inhal inhalation form in the form of uh, either uh, um, MDI puffs or it is a capsule to be inhaled through rotahalers. So uh, we, that is called uh, LAMA, long acting muscarinic agents. So we give them as inhalers. In fact, now we have inhalers where you can have the three combined in just one canister, one inhalation, two, two puffs in the morning, two puffs at night. This is one thing. Some of the, these cases would require intermittent antibiotics and some patients we do give them uh, theophylline derivatives which is just given these days in the form of one tablet in the morning after meals and that's it so it has its own role to play and so the idea is to improve the muscle function reduce the mucus production and improve the function of the air tubes as much as possible that we can do with theophylines also so these are the mainstay of treatment. Intermittently antibiotics are required and if the patient is gone into exacerbation during acute stage, then sometimes we need to give them a very short course for a week or so of oral steroids also. So these are the main uh, treatment modalities. We can add something here and there, but these are essential part of treatment. So we were able to discuss some important aspects of COPD, how it is, uh, how it develops, how we diagnose it, how we treat it, and uh, so you hopefully are better informed. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay well informed, and see your doctor whenever you have symptoms like that, so that you can be given the right combination of therapy for not only for taking care of symptoms now, but also futuristically to prevent the progress of the disease. Thank you very much.